Hello everybody, in this new tutorial of Angular 9 and ASP.NET Core So today I'll show you how to make grid pagination So let's create a new project called pagination And let's create a new component under component folder called table pagination So let's navigate to the html file and let's copy this html table code from bootstrap side web and let's paste it in table pagination dot component dot html so let's copy this selector and delete the content of app component and paste it this directive so let's delete some code here no we need to create a new service under the services folder called fake models service inside we'll uh, make some uh, method in order to return a fake data uh, array so We need also to make um, a model class called user model under the models uh, folder. Let's navigate to this user model and let's define some properties like first name, last name, and email type of string. So let's create a new property in the TypeScript file called user list type of array models initialize it to uh, empty array and in the constructor let's inject um, the fake model service so the idea is to get array of um, user service so let's create a new method called get users and inside we we'll generate um, an array of user models so let's create a loop for of 100 items and inside we we'll create um, we'll push every time uh, the same object for example the first name will be Ariana and the last name will be Grant for example and the email it will be ariana.grant at xxx.com for example and return the list that's great so now let's affect this initialize this user list from the service that's great and let's see what we have here so we need to make some changes in the HTML um, code so <coughs> first of all here we need to make ng4 let item of user list and let's define the columns here so we have an ID, the first name, the last name, and the email at the moment. And inside the body of this table, we need to initialize an index. And here the first column will be the E index and the second colon will be the item dot first name last name and the email for the other colons so we use here the angular interpolation we have done here let's see so in the browser here so an email with it's not a capital letter so that's great we have here 100 item in this table so we need to make a pagination here
That's great. In order to make pagination, we would use a nice package called ng bootstrap. You have uh, it's an open source code uh, available on GitHub. So in order to install it, we need to run the npm uh, install uh, command. So here we have a previous description for the most important um, notions here. We have three uh, properties, important properties, collection size, the page size, and the current page. So simply we'll use the ng4 loop with a slice method in order to extract a subarray from the user list array. It's very simple. So here we need to copy and paste this code, use the slice method, and we need also to declare a three or two new properties called the page initialize to initialize to one for example and the page size will be 10 items per per page and the current page will be number one not 10 yeah that's great and let's copy this um, directive and put it in the html here after the table and we need to change the collection size to user list array dot length and here we have a problem i think we need to delete this index we don't need it at the moment and because we are under angular 9 we need to install angular localize localize uh, we need to launch it and here in order to make this pagination at the center we need to use some css classes so and to make sure our pagination work correctly i will add here a random property it's equal to math.random and that's great and let's put it in the html here so let's add let's command this colon code random and we use the interpolation to show this uh, property it will be item.random and let's run and see that's great here we have our grid with pagination as simple as that thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe to the channel see you in the next tutorial